Hey guys, going on? Megan here. So, very, very interesting video. A subscriber of mine, uh, Gary Scott, sent me this link uh, a day ago. And it is amazing. I just had to make a video on it. It, it, it wasn't even part of my schedule. So, um, this guy's forearms are fucking amazing. And I did a lot of... I went through his videos, his, uh, his channel to try to get more information. And it blew my mind. This is the perfect example of nucleus overload. Uh, again, if you don't know what nucleus overload is, if you've been living under a rock or if this is your first time, just watch my uh, uh, video on it, the short one or the long one. Uh, I'm not going to go into details to avoid making this video too long. But long story short, it's the 30 day program that I created based on uh, an observation that I made when I was a kid, right? I noticed that people that overwork the muscle every single day or as frequently as possible uh, had that muscle um, you know not just grow in size but um, become so much more sensitive to training uh, in the future you know when they join bodybuilding so long story short you know I did a lot of research on it eventually I stumbled upon the the rat study that I mentioned in almost every fucking video um, and uh, that study finally explained that hey you know like you know if you overwork uh, uh, an animal, in, in that case, it was, it was a rat, a rat's muscle, you increase the amount of nuclei within the muscle, which eventually makes the muscle, you know, more sensitive to growth in the future. Anyway, just watch the videos, you know, I don't, I, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse. Um, and again, so I, I put all the research together, uh, you know, my experience, experience of my friends, things like that. And I called it nucleus overload because you try to increase the amount of nuclei in the muscle, you know, that's the goal. And of course, studies came out after that, backing it up. But anyway, so Roddy Burton, right? So that, that's his name. Um, he has, a, I don't know if I'm pr pronouncing this right, sacral or sacral agenesis. Um, pretty much, it's an issue with your lower spine where it doesn't fully develop. It's a very, very rare condition, um, according to him and according to the uh, data I looked at. About 1 in 25,000 people have it. So he had to have his legs amputated at age 3, and you can see... On the left picture here, um, what what it pretty much looks like. Um, so he had his legs amputated at three, meaning, um, and, and it's, instead of using a wheelchair, you know, which he does use sometimes, you know, he prefers to be independent, you know, to pretty much use his own arms to carry his entire body weight. And um, he weighs about 70 pounds. So that's a lot of weight, believe it or not, you know, to just, you know, carry using your arms every single day. Um, he's very, very independent. Um, I was actually surprised, you know, he drives, he cooks, he, he shops, he plays tennis, he skateboards, he's very active, you know, he, you know, he doesn't let that get to him. But what's amazing about this is obviously you guys know, you know, nucleus overload, right? Look at his forearms, guys, which is exactly, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys saw the old videos when I made the marathon about all the different nucleus overload stories. But that's exactly what the theory is, right? You know, just using that muscle every single day or as often as possible. And eventually you have this accumulation, this buildup of nuclei, you know. Um, and not only it makes the muscle grow so much faster, but I mean, just look at his forearms. God, just look at that, you know, the vascularity, the size, um, amazing. You know, just carrying his body weight, you know, check. At, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys his Instagram, his YouTube channel. Check it out. You'll actually see him in action. You know, he's constantly, he's pretty much doing like dips every day. Um, and he's fucking Jack, you know, again, look at the vascularity, you know, look at his, uh, you know, just the veins everywhere, you know, the size of his arms, you know, his arms are pretty much his legs. If you think about it, you know, um, so they're carrying that weight all day long, you know, check out the bicep van in the left shot. I got all these pictures from his Instagram account. So you, you guys can go out there and check them out. They're not Photoshop or you can even see the videos. Um, I mean, his forearms, uh, like, I mean, I know people who work out for years that don't have forearms like that. Shit, I don't have forearms like that. Look at that. You know, insane. I mean, just look at this picture on the right. Look at that. Insane. Just doing nucleus overload every single day. And it's funny, just like the nucleus overload stories, most people who were doing it had no clue they were doing it. You know, they were just doing it, you know, either because it was their job or, you know, um, a, a sport or things like that. Or in his case, you know, just walking every day. You know, and again, this reminds me of the wheelchair basketball guys that I, you know, I talk about a lot. You know, they, you know, they all have these jacked, not all of them, but the vast majority of them, um, have these jacked arms. You know, forearms, biceps, triceps, because again, their arms are literally their legs. You know, they have to use that to support their body weights, um, or um, to actually move the wheelchair around, especially in, in wheelchair basketball. I don't know if you guys ever watched it. <laughs> Take 10 minutes out of your day to actually check it out. It's intense, you know. You know, people, you know, try to make fun of it, but it's actually intense. They have to use their their uh, their arms to explode, you know, as if they were sprinting. So they're pretty much sprinting with their arms. And that's a lot of tricep work, forearm work, you know, bicep work and everything. 
Um, and again, gymnasts, you know, you guys know I made a ton of videos about gymnasts, you know, again, using their triceps, you know, constantly, nucleus of a load on their triceps, uh, doing the dip work, the ring dips, and sure enough, you know, they have amazing tricep development, you know, you think these guys say, hey, you know, Monday's my arm day and that's it? No, you know, every time they train that movement, triceps, 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 constant tension, constant tension insane so i thought hey you know does he have big triceps and sure enough i looked through one of his videos and look at that guys look huge triceps you know just like the theory entails you know i mean that tricep development can you imagine if he actually and the funny thing is people think he works out i actually looked through a lot of his videos he says he rarely goes to the gym you know in fact the, 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 um, there's a video on his channel where he actually went to the gym and he said hey you know it's been a, it's just been a long time and he wanted to see what you know what, what his strength was you know and his strength was you know was okay um but yes yeah, so this is just from doing dip work every day he's, he's, he's you know he's like a mini gymnast if you think about it you know and that brings me to the gorilla theory you guys remember uh me and matt had this theory, Matt Lazy Lion, about why gorillas has huge chests, right? That's back when I was just going balls deep on the nucleus of a little research, you know, and, and and Matt was like, hey, you know, we're trying to come up with different theories. And Matt proposed the idea that, hey, I think they have big chests because, you know, they're constantly, you know, just the way that they walk, right? And at first I thought it was funny, and then we, we actually tried it. This is how crazy we were back then. We actually tried it. We started walking like gorillas and shit to try to see, you know, um, try to mimic that effect. Of having, because you gotta understand, gorillas weigh 300 to 400 pounds, right? And their body is not proportionate, right? So obviously the, the bulk of their weight is actually towards their upper body, right? And they have these, these small legs. So the majority of their weight is actually being supported by their arms, not their legs, right? So they're constantly putting tension on their, on their pecs, right? Their lower pecs, their shoulders, their forearms. So we, we actually tried to emulate that. It was actually funny as shit. I will never forget that night where, you know, around my apartment just trying it. And guess what started burning? Like the moment we, like we did it for only like, I think like a, not even a minute. And our pecs, forearms and shoulders were just burning, burning. And I was like, holy shit, can you imagine doing that? Like for most of the day, you know, no wonder they have big chest. Now again, you know, this is a definitely a bro science theory that, you know, me and Matt came up with. But I won't be surprised, you know, if one day science proves it and says, hey, you know what? Let's, let's put a bunch of EMG electrodes on gorillas and find out what happens when they're just walking, you know? And I guarantee you that the EMG activity in their pecs is enormous, you know? I mean, try it. If, if you're watching this video, pause the video and try putting like a heavy backpack on, you know, to try to replicate the the weight distribution on a gorilla's uh, uh, arms and just try walking around like a gorilla. That shit fucking burns. It's, it's literally like doing dips. So are we surprised? that um he also has just you know that just has those thick forearms and the next thing was the chest right so hold on so back to the forearm thing right look at all the people that obviously indirectly did nucleus a little on their forearms right you have arm wrestlers who obviously don't have an arm day right that's literally their their livelihood arms every fucking day you know their form development is insane you know you have frank mcgrath i made a video about that he used to train forearms every single day when he was in high school to impress the chicks and sure enough when he started bodybuilding boom his form just took off you got baseball players everyone knows baseball players especially the ones who uh you know who've been playing baseball for a long time have great looking forearms you know you have you know chuck uh, chuck sipes you have mechanics i mean it's, it's just everywhere Right. So I thought, hey, what about chest? You know, if, if, if the theory is true, right, obviously every muscle that he's putting a lot of pressure on should be developed. So obviously we saw that his forearms are jacked. We saw that his uh, triceps are, uh, are jacked. So I was like, what about chest? So I started looking around his channel, uh, looking for a picture of him with his shirt off so I could, I could actually see. And the closest I got was him swimming. And look at that. Sure enough, look at his pecs, guys. And this is for someone who literally just, you know, he's not a bodybuilder, right? This is literally just him doing dips every single day, walking dips. You know, and his chest is actually pretty developed. You know, um, can you imagine if he actually started uh, bodybuilding? You know, his, guess what body parts would blow up faster than everything else? His triceps, his delts, his forearms, of course, and his chest. You know, it's insane. Um, so anyway, guys, his name is Roddy Burton. Check out his YouTube channel. Show him some love. It's funny. I was actually looking through the videos, you know, to, to look for some nuclear solar examples. And actually, you know, actually enjoy his channel. He has, you know, has a very positive outlook on life despite his condition. I mean, he, he's very positive. He doesn't want no excuses, you know. Uh, he's a very happy person, very positive. Um, 
and like I said, he's independent, you know, and it's also cool just to see how he tackles life, you know, he, he you know, he doesn't let that stop him, you know, he's skateboarding, playing tennis, you know, all that, it's very, very, very inspiring, I'm gonna show this to a bunch of my friends, but anyway, guys, so yeah, check him out, that's it, hope you enjoyed this video, shout out to the subscriber who actually found this story and sent it to me, I have another one that's coming up, on a guy that was doing that was doing a ton of push-ups from Africa. One of, the, one of my subscribers sent that to me. I gotta make a video on that. Um his chest is just fucking swole. Um, but anyway, that's it, guys. Like the video, subscribe to my shit, hit the bell, visit my website, use the 40% off coupon code to grab your copy of my HSP Nuclear Civil Law program and ebook. And it has everything, guys. It's a 12-week program, muscle hypertrophy guide, meal plan, macro guide, nutrition guide with the recommended supplements, all of that shit in just one very short, concise book. So check it out, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out.